Uh, Cam says, I've always felt that the biggest strength Mick Lanning as a captain had is a batting, but looking at how Australian women's team have given some, uh, given given up some close games without her, uh, suggests that she's a better captain than it appears. I think that Meg Lanning is a very, very intelligent cricketer. I remember her being mic'd up for a training session with the Australian team one time, and you had her chat and you had like two or three other women, and you just realised that she was seeing the game on a different level. Um, I've talked to people who played club cricket with her, uh, you know, having followed her the way that she, you know, even at press conferences and everything. I think she's a really, really intelligent cricketer. I'm not sure that that directly responds to what you're saying there, Cam, about her not playing and then therefore um, Australia struggling in closer games because I think England have improved a little bit as a team of recent times as well. So I think we have to give some credit to them. But if you take Meg Lanning out of your side, I don't think you're going to be as good as if you had Meg Lanning, and that's batting and captaincy, and also probably professionalism as well. I think she was an elite professional uh, before that was a thing in women's cricket. 